everyone, and welcome to Jake's fourth round in the IPL League. Last time, Jake got destroyed, leading him to his first loss of the season. Now he is fighting his next opponent, Rice Settle. Will he claim another victory or get absolutely massacred? Well, let's find out. I'm your host, slash commentator, Koopa of the Troop, here to tell you about what's going to happen in this battle, or find out myself because I haven't seen it yet. Alright, before we actually get into the battle itself, let's do a quick team recap. We have, on Jake's side, we have Salamance, Miltank, Dusk Noir, Scrafty, Ian Magirna, and Thunderous. On Ray Settle's side, we have Jolteon, Pinsir, Azumarill, Drapion, uh, Landorus, and Crobat. Alright, so for early predictions, I'm going to assume Jake is probably going to go for his, with at least with his Dusk Noir, he's probably going to be going for his mean look curse tactic which makes his opponent take 25 damage uh each turn which is a very powerful strategy if done correctly um i'm going to assume that miltank is just there for heal for uh, normally um z heal bell which is typically a tactic that not only heals his team but also fully heals him salamance is probably going to be his mega uh, scrafty is probably going to be there for the bulk up up um moxie tactic or maybe intimidate you never know considering that scrafty is a very versatile pokemon well versatile in the sense that you can do a lot with him magirna is obviously just going to be his raw power wreck house and thunderous is obviously just going to be that good electric damage on recital side we obviously got jolteon over here probably going to be here to counter thunder in pincer is definitely going to be the mega of this group azumarill is just a nice bulky staller uh wall fairy type Probably here to take out them dragons and Scrafty. Drapion, obviously, being the poison dark type. Probably there for some good old-fashioned toxic spikes. Uh, which, thankfully, Jake does have a way to counter the wall. Um, and Drapion with his good old-fashioned Magirna. Landorus is just a fucking beefy powerhouse. And in case Jake, for some reason, ever decides to go for a... Uh, <laughs> spikes himself which judging by his setup he probably doesn't uh crobat is a good support yeah again i don't think jake really i don't i think this guy is really just, i i feel like this guy brings crobat to every fight doesn't he i've never seen him actually fight but i just have a feeling which isn't a bad thing because crobat is a good um defogger um very versatile pokemon in that sense very support based but i don't think it's really going to get much mileage out of this fight considering that half of his team kind of destroys it but without further ado, let's get into the fight. Okay, Jake sends out Thunderous, um, and the Recital sends out um, Landorus. Jake then goes for the switch into Clown Town Crisis. Jake is now probably going to start off his... Oh, he switches back out and goes into Night Fury. Probably going to go for a Mega Gibby 4 over here. Goes for a Swords Dance, but immediately switches out. Got a lot of switching this time around. Landorus is obviously... <laughs> gonna be immune to that fucking um earthquake we do to levitate um ooh, he has a life orb jake goes for clown town crisis and gets his leftovers knocked out jake probably won't be able to use yep won't be able to use that tactic i just mentioned and dusk noir is the first pro pokemon to fall jake then goes into black betty which is able to diesel the damage black betty had a rocky helmet on very interesting Ooh, he even puts down rocks i guess crobat might be useful for something after all um landorus goes for a earth power um almost kills black betty jake went mill tank went for a return almost kills gibby he uh jake switches out into night fury gibby goes for a rock slide night fury takes some damage um but it ultimately survives G Recital, Recital is now going into Jolteon. Jolteon is gonna... Jolteon goes down, damn, with that quick earthquake. Um, Recital is obviously gonna be here just to defog because those rocks are going good, are doing some good damage, or goes for Super Fang, of all things. I honestly would have gotten rid of those rocks. Probably would have been a bad thing. Um, anyway, Jake gets cross-poisoned, and Black Betty goes down. Pretty even match right now. and not. Uh, Jake seems to be hurting a little bit, but nothing crazy. Gibby just fucking destroys holy shit what is this crowbat um well it's dead is what it is now but jake switches out of thunderous and goes into soulless heart on magirna over here okay magirna now magirna is a star player over here so obviously he's gonna almost let it die J jake what the hell were you doing i mean yeah I mean, you killed it so you know there's that but seriously like 
Why, you knew it had Earthquake, buddy. Anyway, he now goes into into a zoom roll, goes for that Aqua Jet, obviously takes out Magirna. Um, this isn't looking good for either side, actually. Both of them, well, actually Jake, because, you know, almost half his team is almost dead, and Whack-A-Mole goes down. Um, Jake goes and sends out Night Fury, probably for just one last attempt to get some good damage. S Ooh, Gibby goes for the play rough, but Night Fury, but it um, misses, goes for Aqua Jet next turn, and Night Fury goes for Earthquake, killing it off. Ooh, this doesn't look good for a recital right now, especially since Jake just got that Moxie um, takes. God, dude, seriously, why didn't you get rid of those rocks? <gasps> Gibby, go oh, fuck. Uh, Pinsir goes mega, quickly takes out Night Fury. Jake's last option is to go to Thug Life, which sadly Bug resists. Um, <laughs> okay, I guess it doesn't matter because Return just absolutely destroys Jake, and that is the end of the battle. All right, Jake, you're going to, you're two for two now. And yeah, that's the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you next week.